Okay, again, so hello everyone. My name is Ab uh, Yuming Shui. So I'm a cloud application in Micron. And this is my GitHub and LinkedIn link. And if you want to find the uh, code example later, you can scan the right hand side of the QR code. Okay. So today's agenda will talk about the observability overview and what is the open telemetry and also how we can apply the open telemetry within our application to enhance our uh, observability. And after that, we have the demo and QMA. So let's go start. So in software observability, we often talk about three telemetries type, which is like the matrix, log, and trace. So just let me do a first quick survey. How many people have uh, heard about the log and also a, a correlate log within your project? If you already done that, please help me to raise your hand. I think maybe most of people are doing that. Just, just keep your hand because I will have a few questions later. So the second question is, how many people already understand the uh, matrix and also create the trace within your project? Okay, let's learn the previous one. Okay, how about the trace? Okay, it's very similar with the matrix. Okay, so how many people are already, like you are able to link your trace, matrix, and log data together? Few of them, okay, thank you very much. You can put your hands down, thank you. So I hope after this talk, uh, people will more understand how to apply the open telemetry within your project to help you to link those uh, data together. So before that, let's do a very simple introduction. So matrix are numeric value uh, that represent uh, your state or performance of your systems in a particular uh, time. So log are the record of the event or message which emits by a system and it provides the insight to help you to identify the issue. And the trace is the detailed record of your whole request path of your system. So it helps you to understand your system dependency and also like how your system inter interactive with our components. So after we have the basic understanding of the trace, log, and matrix, so what is the open telemetry? So open telemetry is an open source project under the CNCF, and is also uh, trying to build an industry standard SDK, and there are lots of different language already uh, implement the API for user to use. So the main purpose is we want to link the trace, log, and matrix together and also it's very easy to use and also lots of open source uh, instrumentation package are available. So when I talk about open source instrumentation package are available is like if you go to the open term to website and click the icon, uh, ecosystem and if you click the language as the Python, you can see lots of package uh, instrumentation library are available for specific package. For example, if you are using the Face API, you can find the Face API instrumentation library right now. If you are using the Fresk or you are using the SQL economy, those are packages currently available on here. You can just download and download it and include it in your project. Then those packages can help you to automatically to instruct your trace or matrix and log information. And this is the status of the AT, uh, SDK and API. So let's look at the overview of the open territory architecture. So within your application, based on your application type, you will install different uh, automatically instrumentation library, for example, like the face API we already talked about. And you are also able to collect those information by your own, by using the open territory API and SDK. So after you have this kind of set up within your application, your application will try to send the trace, log, and matrix to the open telemetry collector. Then within the open telemetry collector, you can decide how do you route the different type of data, uh, data to the different backend. For example, for the time series database, you may use the Prometheus, and for the trace database, you, can, uh, you may use the Grafana Temple or Google Cloud Tracing, and for the Log, you can send it to the Spunk or you can send it to a Google Cloud login 
or Grafana Loki as well. So it's very flexible. Like after you create this data, you can use the creator to send it to a different, uh, anywhere, and you will not block by the vendor. Okay, so the first one is how do we instrument trace? So this is the main component within the open terminal tree for the trace. So the first thing is we need to initialize the trace provider. And in order to initialize the trace provider, we need to decide two things. One thing is we, want, we need to decide what kind of the processor we want to use. And the other is how do we want, uh, what kind of the exporter we want to use. So the processor is take the responsibility to decide uh, how do we want to collect our trace. And the exporter is take the responsibility to determine where we should send the trace data to. So after we determine these two, we can start to initialize the trace provider. Then we can uh, grab the tracer from the trace provider and use this tracer to create a span. Okay? So this is just a related, uh, we need to import a related package. And after that, the first thing, I in here I will provide the three example about like how you can decide like what kind of exporter and processor you want to use. So the first is example on here is we will use the console exporter plus the batch processor. So your trace data will be output into your console. So this is very helpful when you want to do some debug. So underline like we initialize the console span exporter then after that we provide the exporter to initialize the batch span processor. Uh, for the second case, we will use the in-memory exporter plus the single sp span processor. And so because this data will store in the memory, so it's very helpful when we want to write the unit test to verify our logic. And the third case is we will use the open temperature exporter plus the batch span processor. And this one will, uh, when we deploy our application to the production, we will choose this way. So after we decide what kind of the exporter and processor we want to use, the next step we will create a, uh, we can start to initialize our tracer provider. So in here you can see like the 80 span uh, processor, I will equal to the, uh, the trace processor which we create in the previous slide. And also like if you look at within the tracer provider, there is a parameter called a resource. So this resource can, if you put this resource on during the resource, uh, during the trace provider, so all of the trades created by this trace provider will have this attribute, and later we will look at that. So after that, we will set the global default tracer provider. Then we can use the get tracer for, uh, to get the trace for, uh, provider. Uh, we can get the tracer from the global tracer provider. After we get a tracer, then we can start to instrument our trace data. So we use the tracer that start as current span to create a, a span scope, and within this scope, you can attach a attribute into this span. So for example, like if you want to record some database information, you can put like the like select statement or how many rule count be insert or be select, be returned during this uh, function. This is kind of an example, okay? So if we look at, this is the one of the data point from the console output. So within this console output, you can see from the trace information within the content, we got the trace ID and span ID. And on the right hand side, there is an attribute, you see like is the service.name PyCon demo. So this is, if you remember, this is how we define we, when we initialize the trace provider. Okay, so currently we have the trace data, and how about the log? So log is very similar with the trace, so we also need to initialize the log provider, and during the same time, we still need to determine what kind of the log processor and if exporter we want to use. And after that, we will create the uh, we will provide this trace provider to our handler, uh, open telemetry handler. Then after that, within our program, we will create a logger, right? So we will end our handler to within our logger. Then our logger will start to help us to generate a log. 
So within our log record, if we are inside a scope of the trace, then autom uh, Tamar tree will automatically to help us to find the correct trace ID and span ID. So later we will look at it. So again, we import the related package. Then we decide what kind of the exporter and processor we want to use. And it's very similar like previously, console for debug, memory for unit text, and op uh, open directory log exporter is for production usage. After that, we uh, create a log provider. And so like within the log provider, we, have, uh, we provide a logger processor and also set the logger provider as a global logger provider. After that, like, we will like initialize the open telemetry logging handler. So within here, we will provide what kind of a provider we want to use. Then we can create a logger and end the handler within this logger as well. So after that, like, we can just need to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, then we just need to use the logger as our traditional way. Like we can just use the logger.info, logger.warning or error to uh, record our information. So you can see this one, this uh, logger that info is within the trace scope, right? So open territory will uh, directly help you to find out what is the correct trace ID and span ID you need to find, you need to use. So if we look at the console output is, uh, example, on the left hand side is the uh, log result, and on the right hand side is the trace result. So if we look at the log result, you can see Within the body, this is the message we want to record. And on the downside, we also have the trace ID and span ID. It's ma uh, match the, uh, on the right hand side of our trace result, right? If you compare the trace ID, they are the same, and also the span ID. So currently, we already have the correlation between the log and trace. And how about the matrix? So open directory they also provide the matrix SDK. And in here, I will just briefly to go through it because Currently, there are some challenges on there, and I will talk later. So if we look at the metric component, it's very similar. Like we initialize the meter, uh, meter provider, get the meter, and create the instrument, and start mm -hmm. to measure it. OK, so this is very similar like before. So this is the log from the matrix. If you only if you use the open telemetry matrix SDK, and you will say, do we find the trace ID and span ID information on here? Do we? No, right? We are missing this part. We only get the value, right? Like, like in the previously, I followed this one to end the counter, and we have the correct value on here. But how about the trace ID and span ID? We didn't find it out. This is because currently Open Territory Python SDK haven't implemented there is a feature called the Exemplar, uh, which is come on by the Grafana and uh, Promisios. So currently, if you look at the documentation, this feature currently is frozen. They haven't implemented yet. So the alternative way is we will use the Promisios client, which support the Exemplar, and provide the trace inf information when we generate the matrix data. So this is how it look like. So on the right, left hand side, we will create one function. You can see I, I named it is the generate exemplar. So this one is very simple. It's just a dictionary structure. And we need to have the trace ID and span ID within it. And on the right hand side, this is how we can use the promotion client to create the uh, matrix and also use this matrix to, do, uh, to measure the, our Systems. So on the downside, like on the last two lines, you can see when we use the matrix the int uh, incremental, and you can see we provide the example on there. So normally, like the example is uh, just a dictionary, and in here we provide the trace ID and span ID to it. Okay, so let's go to the demo part. So this demo is a face API plus the open demo tree. So this is the overview architecture. So we will have the Face API service running on the 5,000 pole. And within this Face API, we will install the related instrumentation library. Like uh, we will use the Face API instrumentation library. And also, 
we will install the Prometheus Face API instrumentator within it. So this one is underlined, it will use the Prometheus client and it will help us to expose the matrix data on the slash ma uh, matrix endpoint. And after that, it will send the log and trace data to the open transfer collector. And it, the open transfer collector will also help us to pull the data, matrix data from slash endpoint. And after that, the collector will distribute the data to the Prometheus, to the uh, Grafana Loki and Grafana Temple. And finally, we will use the Grafana to do the visualization. Okay, let's, do, uh, let's look at the code a little bit. So this is my Manda PY. So in here, you can see we initialize uh, the logo, provide logo setting and also we have the trace setting on here. After we have load setting, then because I already mentioned, we install the Face API instrumentation library and also the Prometheus library on here. And after that, we use the Unicorn to run our project. And on the right hand side, like after the creator receives the data, it will use like the open territory receiver and Prometheus receiver to receive those data. So after the data already on the creator and in the exporter, we can decide like how we want to export our data to. Okay, so we, uh, we will export the data to the Prometheus and also like the Temple and Loki on here. So let's look at the website on here. So this is the Face API website. Okay, so I have two endpoints. One is called a slash foo and the other is the slash bar. And let me just call it right now. So I will call it multiple time. Then also I will call it one slash foot. Uh, okay. And during the same time, if we look at our slash matrix endpoint, we can also find the matrix is put on here. So if we go to the Grafana page, you can see currently my Grafana already connect with three different uh, data source type, Logi, Prometheus, and Temple, right? And after that, this if I refresh this one, so I already built a very simple dashboard. Let's see. Du, du, du. Oh, okay, sorry. Thank you very much. Okay, let me do again. So we go to the dashboard. This one. Yep, okay, let me room in a little bit. Okay, so you can see like there is uh, some data point on here, right? So this is about the uh, request uh, latency. So if we want to see why during this time, like we have the high latency data, we can just click this one. And you can see like this matrix data can provide us the trace ID and span ID on here. So we can use this trace ID and span ID to, we can use this trace ID to link with our trace. So if we click this one, then boom, it will, like provide you to the uh, Grafana temple. So in here, you can understand all of your system dependency, right? Like because currently I only have one service, but if you have more service, you can see more complex chart on here. And after that, if you want to find a specific log for specific span, you will click, the, uh, there is a log button on here. So we will click this one. When we click the phone in here, like you can see this is the log information on here. So this is very amazing, right? So, so in the future, if our system have an issue, we can find, like if we find the information on the log, we can use, from the log, we can extract the trace ID and find it on the matrix and the, uh, the trace as well. But if we find that from the trace, we can use that one to search from the log and matrix. So I hope this one can help everybody can have better on code life. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. So now we have time for a Q&A. So if you have any questions, then just raise your hand and we'll go around.
Uh, thank you for your presentation. Um, actually, we started to use Fast API recently, and my question is that in your demo, you published your metrics to your um, uh, Grafana or uh, Prometheus. But maybe this is going to be a very stupid basic question, but is it possible to publish metrics locally as a kind of like a JSON file or something so that we can process them later? Uh, unfortunately, I haven't looked at that yet. We need to, uh, I need, it's a good question. I need to go, uh, go to the document to like look at that. I know like if you export the local data, it's possible, but I'm not quite sure for the matrix data. Yeah, because for, uh, because like the example the concept is currently is only available on the Prometheus uh, client library. So even, I assume even you can store it with the local file when the open directory creator want to process it, I think currently it cannot understand very well, yeah. Thank you. No worries. Hi, thank you for your talk. Um, presumably this, all this logging and tracing generates quite a bit of data. What is a good, as an inexpensive way to store this data? Uh, so like uh, within the trace setting, if you look at their open territory website, they have one concept called a sampler. So normally you can uh, determine what kind of the uh, percentage you want to sample your trace data. So like, for example, if you don't want to 100% to correct your trace data, you can set the uh, uh, percentage a little higher. Then you may lose some of the data, but this is very dependent on your business use case. I hope, I, do I answer your question well? And here. Um, yeah, so in this demo, it was basically just one service. So I'm just interested in how the trace ID or span ID, mm -hmm. um, how that correlates with this sort of different APIs, if you have different so APIs. So because, as I mentioned, like, currently they are trying to build a, a industry standard, right? So normally, if you are using the HTTP request, then I think most of the package currently that support it. So as I know, but some of the package, like they don't implement this one, so you need to do some trick on this. So there is one concept called a propagator. So which means like, for example, if you are using the Redis and you use the pop star function of the Redis, then normally you, it's not the HTTP request, it's the socket, right? So you are missing the trace ID and span ID. So if you look at some, uh, like documentation for this solution, they will ask you to use the propagator and ingest the trace ID and span ID within your message. And on your downstream application, it will need to use the same uh, method to like provide by the open Territory SDK to parsing it so it can uh, attach it, yeah. Any other questions? We still have time. So okay, uh, just uh, yeah. give me what. So like in the previously, like the question asked me, like you can see, like the tracer provider, there is a sampler setting you can set up. So this is the setting about, like I mentioned about, like how kind of the percentage we want to collect. So and currently, I think they already is uh, make it as the environment variable. So you can just set out the specific environment environment variable they provide. So you can directly change it by your own, yeah. Okay, thank you everyone for your questions and thank you for the presentation. So let's give a round of applause.